from about a third of American households are rental properties, and that number is rising. So if you want to snag a bargain, your best bet is to make yourself look as appealing as possible to the landlord, preferably the actual owner of the property. And here to show you just how to do that is our own real estate expert, John Adams, and landlord, right? That's yeah. right. John, welcome. How are you? Thank you. I'm great today. Hope you are. I'm doing great. So, you know, you've done this a time or two. A time so or two. As a landlord, what are landlords looking for in a tenant? Well, in the landlord world, there are two types of tenants. There are hardworking, upright citizens that pay their bills on time and take care of the property. And then there are the unemployed bums that mm -hmm. want to live for free in mm -hmm. luxury and complain about course, it constantly. Yeah. And my point is, if you're trying to get a bargain, you better convince that landlord that you're the first type and not the second type. And I'm always amazed that so many applications come in that just seem they haven't given it any thought whatsoever. Right. And so. We've got some ideas. Yeah, you got three ideas, yeah. three things you can do. And so let's start with number one. You say, impress the landlord with your story. What do you mean by that? I think it's a good idea to have a, a summary of who you are, what you're doing, what you like and what you don't like, and show that you've got some ambition in life. Mm -hmm. um, uh, I would sort of make it in the form of a combination generic rental application that you fill out with a typewriter right <laughs> because i can't tell you how many applications i can't read them sure i mean just people hand scratching and i would put with that things like um a copy of your credit report you can get those for free saves the landlord time and they know now that you know what's mm -hmm. on their credit report um a letter of reference from a recent landlord if you can get it copy of your most recent lease I'd like to see where you've been living, mm -hmm. and I'm going to ask you why you're moving. Um, go ahead and tell me. Employment verification, that type of thing. Sort of a applicant resume, and we've got these, this all will be listed on the Fox 5 website. Almost like you're looking for a job here, it right? It is. Okay, so you also, number two, you want to impress the uh, landlord with your finances. How do you well, do that? Well, again, my biggest fear as a landlord is you're not going to pay the rent. Sure. So you need to show me that even though you may be in a financial a little bit of a pinch right now. We all are to some extent. Sure. Um, then you show me you've got a plan. Show me you understand where your finances are, that your expenses don't exceed your income, because if they do, I can't rent to you. And if you try to hide it, I'm going to find out and it's going to be worse for everybody. Yeah, that's no good. So uh, give me um, evidence of a savings account. So many people overlook that today. And just the simple fact that you've got a savings account tells me that you're putting money aside for the future. I think that's important and it's free. Yeah. Okay. Number three, impress the landlord by overcoming his greatest fear. What's your greatest fear? Fear, John. My greatest fear is that the rent won't be paid on of time. Course. So if the applicant comes in and says, um, I prefer to have the rent deducted automatically and put into your bank account, <laughs> that's my that's the applicant I want. I got to get that rent in or I can't make the mortgage payment and we're all going to have problems. All right, you're going to be hanging out a little bit, right? Yep. One hour, Facebook, Right here on I, Fox I guarantee 5. guarantee people are going to have a lot of questions because Great. the rental market is more competitive than ever right it now. It really is. Shortage, there's a, there's a shortage right now. And this is some good advice for folks to get a competitive advantage when they go into the marketplace. All right, good stuff, John. Thanks a lot as always. And John's going to be here for the next hour, as he mentioned, to answer all your real estate questions on our Fox 5 Atlanta Facebook page. You definitely want to take advantage of that. 825 is your time coming up on Good Day Atlanta. A new study frowns on frowning. Plus this. The president